Eternity, but everywhere. Oh. This looks stunning. This looks stunning. Lockadal map. Oh, the scenery. Gorgeous. Looks like tech. But damn. That's a pretty map. Oh, timer. Timer's there. Thank you guys for all the resubs, by the way. I tend to mute alerts when I do the... Um, the Reddit stuff? I appreciate it. I will go through them in a second. Thank you so much. Then we can go through them after quality. To get Division 1 here, though, it's gonna be tough on tech maps. I'm not the best. Oh, it even has an intro. Dude, my f I, I don't know if my FPS is going to be good on this. Okay, we're at 90 FPS. This could be a heavy map to run. So it's a clean full speed start. Oh, I know this map. I know it a little bit. Drift down to the right then left here. I think I saw it on Massa stream, like month one or two months ago when he was playing viewer maps i i know some of the layout of it dude this is insanely beautiful though now it's finally in couple today oh And then, where the finish at? Should be around here somewhere. Oh, you jump. You jump over the wall to the finish there for the risky fin. Okay, well, that's a cool map. Let's try to get Division 1. 55 seems to be the author time. And Lockadal, the guy who built this, is a really good player. He has uh, the world record on AO1. The first map in TMNF. So, he's, you could say, a pretty good player. <laughs> Alright. I think the author time is quite representative of good pace on this map. So that's what we need to get towards, the 55. Masa has playlist? Yeah. Oh yeah, look, 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 58. He's the guy to beat today. Ooh, dink donk. It's probably Buckley messaging me saying, bro, why are you roasting me on your Reddit recaps? Did Bobsay maps ever show up in couple today? There was one two or three months ago, which I did really well on, but rarely they show up. People don't build them to start with, and people don't like to play them. It's the second thing. Go down here, go around. It's hard to keep the slides going. I want to do a full run through again, because I want to get the risky finish jump. Ooh, yeah, let's just keep going, keep going. It's a long map. This is full speed. One drift. Oh, it's actually quite a lot there if you're gonna keep the speed. That's a pretty sharp one. And then you drop down here. Now you need speed to get. Aha. Yeah, that risky finish is uh, pretty tough. It only works if you have the speed to get across. But my oh my, what a aesthetic this map has. Feels like you're in a movie. Like Steven Spielberg Avatar stuff. Actually, that was James Cameron, but yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Are, aren't they making an Avatar 2? I heard something about it, and then the director got mad because people had forgotten the original storyline when it took like 10 years to make part 2. People don't understand how much work it is. They're making 2, 3, 4, and 5? I remember watching the original in uh, 2009. In the in the movie theaters. When it came out. But I watched it in Portuguese. Cuz I was in Brazil at the time. But it had English subtitles. So I didn't understand too much of the movie. God. What were you doing in Brazil? I've been there for a couple of trips. Like... My, um... My family went there, and we even lived there half a year. When I was a kid. It's a nice country. Trying to learn the map here. One sec. That's... Oh yeah, that's speed. So, that turn you can build so much more action speed. This one... Wait, wait, wait. Now. Oh, beautiful. Don't get the jump. Yeah. One break. Ta I should have done one more. And then the finish. Jump. Oh, you can't even miss it on the side. That's good to know. This is so difficult. Isn't it very dangerous in Brazil? Uh, Brazil is a country with really high wealth disparity. There are parts of Brazil where people are really poor, a lot of crime, stuff like that going on. There are also parts where, you know, the people who do well in Brazil do really well. So it just depends. I didn't live in the favelas, but it uh, didn't seem too nice to live there either. <laughs> but if you go to some of the safer cities, it's, it's really safe. Nice. Ooh. You hate the map? I think it's, uh, it's cool. It's very competitive, this map. Like, this is the type of map you can see in a grand final of uh, eSport competition. And believe it or not, that's also why you see players like Nossa and Carl Jr. Top 10 doing well. I think we need a 57 low here to be in Division 1. Which, without a wall touch, I am on track for God. This turn right here is hard. Go low enough on, get the speed. This is the 180. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, it's such a late exit. Yeah, these turns are hard, man. Five minutes. Top 64.
Damn. I keep getting the minus, but I make one mistake in like turn 8 out of 10 and then... It's all for nothing. So many drifts and if you miss one, it's really bad. So I'm gonna try to play a bit safe here. Drop the gear though, it's not good. Gotta drift early for that. <laughs> Oh, it's so difficult. It's really not easy to learn so many tax slides in a row in 15 minutes. Bad entry here. Speed is alright. Speed is alright here. Get the gear. Good. Okay. Go around. Bad gear there. Access speed here is important, got it good. 180. Up on the inside so you don't slide out. Here my PB crashed, so we should gain a lot of time. Fifty-seven six. Okay. We need to get a lot on that, but that was a safe run. So now we need something good. It had a bad turn here already. That's a gain. Down here. Better exit speed on that. Good turn. Oh no, I dropped the gear. You need to hold- yeah, you need to hold the gear there, okay. We're actually in a bit of trouble here. The 57 low still stands us the top the benchmark, but... It's tough. Very tough. Gear. Fifty six eight. That could be the vision one. That could be. On such a technical map, maybe. Do my best to improve it here in the last couple of runs, but I think we've done the job already. It's important not to feel too safe in a couple of days with your quality. Let's see. Lost a bit of time here. <laughs> the gears. Okay, last one. Is Musa that much better? Did he find a shortcut? Musa knew the map ahead of time. Because he played it in like a map review stream. Where viewers send you maps and you play their maps. And the guy who built this, Luckaball, sent in his map, so... Musa knew it in advance, which helps. But he's also really good at tech, so it's just the combo. That is uh, really powerful. But I don't think Moss is the only one. It's like what tends to happen with maps like this is if they're known in advance, like if they're publicly released, then you can't really fault people for playing them. <laughs> I had a couple of the day win where I won on Muddy's map, which was also public, that I knew in advance. So it happens. Be 
baby! With that, we are certainly Division 1. We get 56-5, get Division 1, and my god, the player list is stacked. Already in the top 10 there, you have Massa, Bren, Granati, Carl Jr. Four Trekmania Grand League players. That's tough, but we're in there. Carl Jr. playing? Yeah. I think he's playing because he's on the, the, the Z-Lane. So I said I was going to get through some uh, some stuff I missed, so... City, thank you for the nine months. Barney Barnabas, thank you for the resub. Uh, Control, still, thank you. Hope that's how I say your name. Nicholas, non-PC Productions, thank you for the nine months, almost a year. Thank you, Yachto and Super Groby. Severin, I have a khaki song, it's not 100% finished, but it's good enough to listen to if you have time during the stream. Please send it on Discord and DM. Um, Black Knight, I think for the five months. Blood Dirk, 1000 bits. Thank you for getting me into this game as a speedrunner of rather long things. I was looking for a fun competitive thing I could do just any day and just enjoy it. Trackmania is like that. You can just play it, have fun, enjoy it. And then, um, oh my game. And then put it down, you're done. I want to check the Rodak real quick. There's this bug that has been around since forever, where if you leave a server, it sometimes auto-connects you to it again. I... No, they all please fix. I don't want to rejoin the server when I leave. That's I, I leave because I want to leave. Here's Muscle's record. Uh, Thank you for the Prime, Major Math, Chubby, Nils, Nog, Rat Bits, Colton, thank you for four months. Seravi, Galaxy Turtle. Thank you, Lorenzius, for the 18 months. Cleopsy for the 13. Thank you guys all for the resubs. I appreciate it. And Misty, thank you as well. So yeah, what Musa is probably going to do is just get a lot of access speed everywhere. Here, so wide to keep the gear. His car does not shift there from 5th to 4th. He just keeps the 5th all the way. And then... Speed! Actually very inside line there, but again, just stays 5th gear. Oh, that exit speed is great. Ooh, clean. You know, I'm not actually that far away from that run. It's just on tech, it's, it's really punishing. So like in tech, right? I almost joined Khaki server, that's how brain rot I am. On tech, if you lose, say there's 10 turns. Say there's 10 turns on this map. There might be more, but 10 turns, right? If you lose an average of like a tenth of a second in those 10 turns, that's the one second that you're behind. You can make no big mistakes and still lose a lot of time because it just stacks. Like say I lost a tenth of a second already. This turn, okay, not... Perfect, I might have lost like another 500s here, bad setup. Ooh, that's another 5 to 10 hundredths, right? This is kind of how tech works. It's very hard to realize as a beginner where you're losing time. Because it's not just about not crashing, but it's about racing lines, okay? Carl's game crashed? He has about a minute to join. To get into the cup server. <laughs> Maybe the mods are playing cup of the day. That's why they're not paying out the prediction. Let's pay out the believers for winning and then let's do a new one for top 32. You guys like the top 32 bet or should we change it up today? How how about how about an interesting bet? How about, does Virtual beat a TMGL player today? So essentially, am I getting knocked out before any TMGL players? Or will I be alive longer than one of them? How about that as a bet? So it's a bit more interesting. Because I feel like you guys know your limits on the top 32 bet. So there's Bren, there's Grenati, there's Carl Jr. maybe, and Massa. Will I outlast any of them? Spam doesn't count anymore because he uh, is dropped out of the league. And Link is not TMGL, right? He's Challenger. 
TMGL is Trackmania Grand League. It's the professional esport circuit. So these players are like some of the best the game have to offer in all rounded competition. I only need to outlast one of them. So if one of them make a mistake and I last longer, believers win. <laughs> if it gets to a point where I have to beat them on raw pace, I think doubters will take a clean win. Oh, getting speed on this straight is mighty important. Oh. Carl Jr. out already. He still has time to join. I'm actually gonna wait here. Hopefully he has time to join if we let the timer run out. In the no knockout. Give him an extra 20 seconds to get in. His PC is dead? Yeah, if, if Carl doesn't get in, it doesn't count. But, I'm just gonna run out the timer. Looks like it doesn't work though for Carl. He's not here right now, so Carl probably knocked out. It's unfortunate. But okay, we're starting. So from now, if we are among the slowest four, we get knocked out. I think the biggest point of uh, fear for me on this map is the risky finish jump. Like jumping across that gap. Because there's not really any other place you can make a terribly big mistake. Like flipping the car upside down or jumping off the map or something. I don't think will happen. I think it's just missing that risky finish. Which is going to cost you gravely. So yeah, here. This jump, I gotta hit it. Uh, or... <laughs> or not. I thought so much about it that I crashed it. Whew. Yep. Would I have a shot at Trackmania Grand League if it was 50 players or 100? 100, sure. I think 100 for sure. 50? Uh, I don't know. What if we fail in the same round? You'll still have one person ranked above the other. Like, if I get knocked out, but I get knocked out in a better spot than whoever gets knocked out, Granati, whatever, then I beat them. If I'm behind them, I lose. And right now, I have the worst start out of anyone. Okay, guys, chill. Relax. Tech players are too fast. Upper gear! Oh my god, the speed. I caught 12 people in my exit speed there. That was insane. Okay, go wide. Oh, that's the best I've ever judged that turn. Okay. Hang on. Masa saved himself, <laughs> and Bren is one spot away, oh my god. Believers right now, twiddling their thumbs. That was close. Both Bren and Masa were almost knocked out. That happens. Bren and Carl are playing one round each. Oh, they're both playing on Bren's PC right now? Oh, that's funny. They're playing tandem. Okay, okay, okay. Again, the worst start.
How is that gonna work though? Carl plays like different controller, camera three. Stretch resolution? This cannot be good for Carl. <laughs> Like, Carl stretches the game so much when he uh, plays on his own PC. Because they're both at the Serrator land right now, so they can... They can do that. Oh, we see Brandon last. Is it Brandon or Carl, though? <laughs> the boys. Dude, they're gonna save that. They're gonna save that. Oh, they didn't! They did not! Believers, you win! Bit, bit scuffed, but you do win. Carl adapting to the, 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 the resolution of the camera, probably laughing, dude. They're probably having a great time. Okay. Now here's the- here's the- oh no, there's only- okay. What's the bet gonna be now? We could just do top 32 again. Okay, here's one, here's one. Will I get top 10 in any round? This couple today. Will I get top 10 in any round? Because I tend to play pretty safe and you see I'm like midfield. Will I get a top 10? Just need one round top 10. Not the actual result, but in a round. What are you feeling? Yes or no? Simple bet. Goober, thank you for the prime. Tuxy Nut, thank you for the 16 months. Thank you guys both. What do I need for a top 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 56, 8 for a top 10 that round. My PB is better than that. But at that point, you're starting to risk. Again, last? You're kidding. Yeah, this is not going to be the top 10 round. Good speed. Should be a fine jump. Solid. Solid, solid, solid. Virtual on starts? I'm chilling in the start. Right, let, me do, let me do my best start ever. Let me actually focus on it, do my best, my cleanest gameplay I could possibly achieve in the opening turns. Let's do it now. So, I would quite simply go around this corner. Alright, 36th, that's not bad. Yeah, see, that's, that's good. <laughs> that's not last anymore. My hyper-focus best gameplay ever in the start. Oh. Dude, people are not getting the hang of that turn. I gain so many spots there every time. It's a hard turn, though.
Whew, I knew that jump was going to be tight. Nossa surviving. Close one. But he makes it. Cloud and Hansi, thank you for primes. Surviving. What's the top 10 mark now? 56.6. So I basically need PB to get top 10. Personal best run. I played too much khaki, so I don't know how to play normally anymore. Yeah. There's like a rock or something I don't see in the start that I keep hitting. My god, boys. It's like, I want to excuse it and say it's different lines or something, but it's just slow. Even if it's different lines. Oh, we're in range. Twelfth? Eleventh? Eleventh! I PB'd! <laughs> what an interesting bet, man. Okay, I need to- I need to beat one more person for the believers here. Shit. Start. Good speed. I, I can get a lot faster here. It's just people are getting faster too. Top 32 secured. My stars are a bit rough, yeah. Oh, I see this. How did I not see that rock before? I saw it so clearly this one. Maybe something with the lighting on the map? not good. Point three. Interesting situation. <laughs> oh my god, I sniped him for three thousands. Sometimes the margins are on your side. Okay. Get another chance. Okay. Start again.
Oh, we're gonna get in spots here. That was good. Big mistakes have been made. In range. Gonna try. For the top 10! I clicked the last jump. I need a point four. Ah, I need four tenths. I don't think I get it. Ooh. Grenadi's out. Another TMGL player beat. Okay. Well, we only need to beat half the field now. It's except the problem is the players remaining are the the most consistently fast twenty two players left. So. My starts are dog water every time. Sorry. I didn't have the angle to go for the jump. I was a bit too wide. If I went for the jump, I would have crashed it. But I only needed one person to fail it. It was either safe finish or you crashed the front wall. Because you cannot... You cannot jump from... From here. I was like here on the road, middle. You don't get across. I'm pretty sure. But, oh well. Unlucky. It was an interesting bet though, I like the bet. Let's see who wins today. And let's see how they do the start, man. How am I losing so much in the first turns? I don't get it. Who's the guy with the fastest starts consistently? Oh, so you gotta attack khaki schedule. So we don't miss good khaki maps. God, we're addicts. What's the khaki schedule? Um... Spamming first, nice run. Nothing good is on right now. Like, all the maps that are on right now, I have them. And I will have the next 20 minutes of map suits. Actually, lining up pretty well. Yeah, you need to be more down. Okay. God damn it, man. God damn it. God damn it. I wanted to get the top 10 for you guys. Okay, start. Massa, good start. Let's check it. What's he do? Higher up on the wall ride? No, he goes low. Oh, but then inside line. Ah, so he does get the checkpoint earlier. Ah. Interesting. Oh my god, he is pushing. Ooh, extra speed. Boom. One player to look out for here. Like, generally. When I press tab now, you're gonna see Germany is really good on tech. Rats and miss, but look at this. The German tech players. Showing up in droves. I was gonna say, Shark is one of the best tech players. He's almost out after that one crash. But yeah, we can do a bet for whether or not Germany will win this one. Will there be a German player winning? The players that are going to try to deny them are Hill, Holo, Final Goodbye, which is Kubais, I think? 12th? Isn't he actually German? I think he's actually German. Uh, but he's playing for um, another flag. And then spam. Nicaragua. I was gonna say wrong. 
I was gonna say the wrong flag. I think 12th is German. You get to the 75? Hopefully. Oh my god, the action speed they get here is just... They're blasting. Right now, two... Actually, all three of the best German players so far are in last three. Shark, Massa, and Barbos. Oh my god, Barbos is YOLOing it. Bit too much, he hits the wall, Massa passes him. Massa needs one guy to fail the end, and no one will. Massa and Barbos are out. That's a surprise. Still though, Massa was really fast, even though he crashed. It happens. It is spam time. Oh, he actually clipped a start. <laughs> no. Why does this keep happening, man? He's gonna come back. He's gonna come back. He's gonna return, it's fine. He's got that. Look at the line, spam with the moves. Pushing through hill into the wall. Carl with less speed, spam. Overtaking another three opponents. What is that line? From the 2012 world champion, Spammy J in the green car. He is uh, retired, but not done. Destroying some noobs yet. From last up to fourth. Last jump! Oh, he makes it. And seeing his line there that might have meant that I could have also gotten the jump on that one run where I hesitated and went for the safe finish. And the same round where I got knocked out, looking just a little bit similar to the line that I had for a moment before saying, no, that's not possible. <sighs> well... Hindsight. Hindsight. Hindsight is a thing. But this field's about to experience spam with a good start, and that is... gonna be hard to follow. I say that though. Wait. It's fine. Twelfth with a mistake. Guys, it's not, I'm I'm his guardian angel, all right. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> I thought that one guy just parked in the uphill, but it was just lag. He's fine. Stop watching spam. All right. Let's watch... Super Carl. This guy, you might not know him. He is... The first world champion of Trackmania. Super Carl won the World Cup of Trackmania in 2006. Our first world champion. And he's still playing. The first Carl. The Carl before Carl Jr. Was in TMNF, it was in Trackmania Esports World Cup. The game before TMNF. Half the chat wasn't born? <laughs> That's not true. Haven't you seen what my viewers look like, Scrappy? Can't believe you don't know what, what virtual viewers look like. 
This is this is my viewers. This is how they look like. All Giga Chats. My viewers are now 12 year olds. They are uh, grown men just enjoying cars going fast in a racing game. Shark out of the water, you might say, as he jumps out of the track. Um, and with that, he goes out together with all the viewers after hearing that terrible joke. Shark eliminated. Top five. Two German players, three other European players. How long do you guys think it's going to take before we have, like, couple a day? And it's just USA, USA, just America dominating Canada. And we get our, our North American stars. It's too much Europe in a couple of days. We need the console release. We need the 12 year olds to get cracked at the game. And then in like one year or two, you're going to have some 14 year old dominating. Dexter, losing speed in the start. I really don't like that that corner clip because you kind of have to cross it. Good speed on Dexter's side. There's still four tenths. Oh, he gains a lot here. Loses here though because he missed the gear. And decides to hit the retire button. Understandable. It's not like anyone would have missed the finish. That's why you always retire, because no one's gonna miss the finish. Oh yeah. Yeah, no one's gonna miss the finish. That's fine. You're you're good. Actually. Now this is a classic. This is a classic. Oh, you hit retire? Oops, let me just chill in front of the finish line for like... Good couple of seconds, you know. Oh, I could really use a stretch right now. Just... Oh, a quick, a quick dab and then... Oh yeah, a little bit of a burnout. Yeah. Yeah, make them feel it. Make them feel it if they, if they retire. Drop the BM. <laughs> All right, top four now. Spam Carl. Final goodbye, who I think is Kubais or maybe Loso. And then uh, Shorty. Shorty tends to get second places, by the way. We had a thing before a couple of the day called um, True Talent Cup, which had the same format. And in that cup, Shorty had like 10 second places before he finally won his first one. He kept losing in the finals. And he wasn't even driving bad, he wasn't even choking them, he just didn't win. And he still has a lot of second places, that's why he has the, the 2 on his car. As the... The name tag, if you will. Really clean drift too low, really clean round spam and last hitting the wall, oh no! Immediately after the bad manners come through, the knockout does as well. Still worth, nah, still worth, still worth. You BM that any day. Any day when someone DNFs like that, you BM it. But the universe wants balance. The universe requires balance. Okay, top three. Is it going to be another shorty second place? Is it going to be the 2006 world champion Carl Luth? Or final goodbye? His name has been final goodbye for like a year, by the way. And he still hasn't left. What do you think he's waiting for? What do you think is going to be the final goodbye?
Like, what's it gonna take? Maybe winning today? That he's out? Okay, man is playing under some severe lag conditions here, but making it work. More speed, Shorty almost missing the turn there. Still two tons to go. Gonna YOLO the last turn, maybe it's enough. <gasps> One hundredth. One hundredth. He went for such a straight tra trajectory to the finish. That was actually insane. Almost clutched it. Good luck. Shorty versus Carl. Shorty versus Carl. Will the curse of the second place be broken? Good drift for Shorty. Inside line though misses a little bit. Carl's gonna take the lead. Oh, good downhill approach. More speed than Carl. Gets a better setup here, and that's gonna be about a tenth of a second. Both players keeping the gear. We'll get more speed in the uphill. Better downhill for Carl, who dares to commit. Shorty coming back, though, with a wide setup. 500's difference. Slightly more speed for Shorty before the ending sets up. Pushes the last turn, more speed. He's gonna be in first before the final drift. Carl pushing down the hill and Shorty hits the wall. Carl wins it. And it is another second place for Shorty. Sick final. Sick final. But it ca he can't escape it. Shorty cannot escape it. Keeps getting those second places. I wonder how many it, it is at this point. How many is it? I can check on my phone. I think he has like about half and half. Like wins in second places. Yeah, so he has... He has 14 wins. You see that? Oh. <laughs> 14 wins and 15 second places. See that? Three, th uh, seven third places.